Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you don't know already, there's kind of the internet divide online about Mr. Beast and a person who shows up regularly in his videos. His friend Chris is currently going through a transition. I know he started to take hormones to fully move forward with being his true authentic self. I'm going to do a reading about it, what's the energy between them right now? Is he getting fired? Is he not? A lot of people are calling for him to be fired. Some people are praising him. It's a lot of energy going around. I believe Mr. Beast and Chris have been friends since childhood, but I just kind of want to read what's the energy between them. Please be respectful in the comments below. My opinion is be yourself, be authentically to yourself as long as it hurts no one. And we're going to leave it at that. So let's get started. We're going to shuffle the tarot first. And we're just going to go Mr. Beast energy first, then Chris's, and then the energy between them. So I'm just going to quickly shuffle these cards. Two, three. Okay. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors, and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to know about the Mr. Beast and Chris's situation? What is Mr. Beast's energy? Okay, we got the Five of Pentacles. So this is dealing with feeling left out in the cold, financial hardship, um, feeling like the world is against you. It's definitely a struggle in the life, um, bad luck, that type of thing. The energy of Chris is showing up as the King of Cups. So definitely someone who's caring, who's in touch with his emotional side, is really empathizing with the situation. It's very mature energy, stable energy to some degree. Um, but definitely it's all about, you know, emotional intelligence, loving what you love. And in the middle between them, action. So the Eight of Wands is speed, progression, movement, you know, thinking on your feet, gaining momentum, and being very results-oriented. So the energy between them, that can also represent communication with the Eight of Wands, so having a conversation, where does this go? Um, we're going to pull some more cards for Mr. Beast first, and yeah. I think there's going to be a new avenue he's going to go down. I don't think he's going to leave Chris out to dry currently at this moment. We will get some more answers. But, you know, it's being open-minded, willing to learn, um, you know, new beginnings, setting goals, opportunities, increased income. So I think whatever path he ends up taking right now, it might hit him in the pockets. But Mr. Beast is pretty wealthy. And then we got marriage. So I think happily ever after. That's what's on his mind. Part of family, long-term success, security, caring. It's that, you know, that home energy that makes you feel abundant and happy and full and content. And yeah, it was definitely a situation where this disrupted his whole vision of what I think he wanted to do um, in their lives right now. It's a lot of chaos, a lot of tweets, a lot of eyes on them right now, and they're going to have to figure this out. Yeah. Shedding of the old, you know, letting go of people, possess possessions, issues, or generosity sharing. So with the four pentacles in the reverse of letting go of people with this tower moment, I mean, there's a possibility of this. Yeah. Trusting his intuition. I think it depends on how long this goes out. I think he doesn't want to put Chris in a box and put him on this exposure if he's trying to deal with mental health struggles or something along those lines. Chris's energy is all about moving into calmer waters right now, healing, really focus on moving forward and overcoming hardships, stability. Maybe they're going on vacation, getting away from here and really trying to get grounded. It's the calm after the storm. I'm currently still going to address Chris by Chris in this video or he until he decides to change his pronouns or proceed on with that. At this moment, that's currently where we stand to my knowledge. If not, please let me know in the comments below. But there's a new beginning, a new romance, a new relationship. I could see him, you know, 
blossoming into being the best version of himself and having someone who will accept him for who he is. Definitely, it's a period of filling up your own cup of self-love and then letting it out. It's kind of like being authentically, truly yourself. He really just wants peace, harmony, and balance in his life. I think that's the energy of, you know, that inner calm. It's always feeling like you've hit a part of yourself and now yourself is free. And what can you expect? Yeah, the middle between them is justice. So with the justice card, there's definitely, you know, honesty, um, cause and effect, you know, fuck around and find out energy, but it's really learning those life lessons and coming into balance with this. Yeah, the three of swords in the reverse. They are definitely releasing pain, overcoming depression. They're optimistic about their future. The content of Mr. Beast might change a little bit as they kind of adapt to this, but the there's still going to be abundant in between us. Queen of Pentacles, prosperity, nurturing, um, someone who is definitely both a home life and work life, um, knows their emotional intelligence, but is very slow moving energy. Yeah. Resilience. I don't think Mr. Beast is going to give up on him. I think it's going to be a new vision, a new rebrand, a new opportunity to figure out what's going on. Yeah. He's standing his ground. This is his friend. I honestly think he's standing up for his beliefs, fighting, um, for him in his corner, really, you know, taking the high road and maintaining that control, that territory, and that assertiveness. Yeah, there's light at the end of the tunnel. They're at least releasing anxiety, stress, letting go, and improving their relationship together. Yeah, it's just that we have the lovely five of um, the Hierophant in the reverse, which is a challenging tradition, unconventional lifestyles, relationships, roles reverse, nonconformity. Makes sense, right? In between them. And this will be a victory. I think this is giving the platform to speak out um, to people that might be going through similar things and really show how you've overcome it, how you are still ambitious, how you could deal with being in the limelight and really going through this transition publicly. And they're going to have lots of options, dreams, you know, goals in this situation. I think Chris is going to go ahead and gain this mental strength, this clarity, and come out of isolation and just truly own it, which I think he is. And last but not least for this deck, I will pull the Sun card. So that is the happiest card in the deck that you could possibly get. Um, and it's just all about standing in one's truth, being positive, being excited, good luck is coming your way, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. When that's upright, it's missed opportunities. In the reverse, it's all about, you know, taking advantage of those opportunities, letting go of that regret, stagnation, or anything along those lines. You're no longer crying over spilled milk. Uh, Mr. Beast and Chris are moving forward. He's just backing him with the strength and the ember. He is in his divine masculine energy, a.k.a. Mr. Beast. And Chris is trying to channel that inner strength, that confidence, that compassion. I think he's handling the situation with grace. People are attacking him, and that's why he said be nice in the comments below. But I feel like he's finally not seeing his world in rose-colored glasses. I think he's able to authentically be himself, and he's taking control of his life. And what more could you want with that? Let's go ahead and jump to LaRosha's Goddess Queen, Just Me 23's deck. Give it a quick shuffle, and we'll continue on with this. Like I said, we'll do Mr. Beast first. We'll do Chris, the energy between them, and then we'll go more in depth. Okay, what is Mr. Beast's energy? Yeah, I choose me. So with that energy, that's pretty interesting to have because that's all about self-love, self-care, self-discipline. What is Chris? Chris is pissed off. So interesting. Anger about ready to control or er, fuck everyone and everything up. The energy between them. Yeah. Crown chakra. So it's definitely a situation. Higher awareness connected to source. Really having those morals, values, ideals. Being tapped in. Being very intuitive. Going back to Mr. Beast. I feel like he apologizes because of the large platform he's put him on, that the heat, he regrets that that as it's coming out because people have this one depiction of him. It's his fans attacking him saying, 
we're not going to support you if you still have him. But honestly, this was due to divine timing. 777, it was all about intervention, things coming to a head. And, you know, being able to show your true selves, be able to put yourself out there and really embrace, you know, these feelings and where you want to take things. And I think Chris was is in this energy of you were meant to shine, shine bright like a diamond. It's like a Rihanna card. And he's just in his abundance flow. He's accepting all positive outcomes. He's truly being himself. And this could lead to increased income. The energy between them, we have Psalms 23, Pharaoh's Awakening. I feel like they are realizing who is going to be there for them, who is fronting as a friend. And when times get tough, they like skirt out. And right now they're focused on building their foundation, building this, you know, stability, feeling safe, secure with themselves and really feeling like they're not in fight or flight mode. That's for sure. Um, they both need to trust their intuition, third eye chakra. They're over, they're expanding their view. Maybe they're going ahead and realizing what this can lead to and what impact they can have. Self-doubt is definitely a theme between these two, uh, not self-sabotaging, not being in denial. I think Chris feels like he's not good enough now to be on Mr. Beast to some degree, or he feels like he's causing all this tension around them. They definitely have someone who's sneaky around them that's leaking things to the press or talking to the press. Betrayal, enemy, fraud, I used to trust you. But they're both ascending and authentically being themselves. And with that, with that spiritual ascension, you can't take everyone with you. They're realizing who they need to cut out of their life. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be a female energy as well, you know, that they need to release. But let's see, bottom of the deck, what they don't see coming. Yeah, they got receipts. Phone call, text, communication arrives. Can we just talk? So they're going to get some proof about something when someone comes forward and blows up their phones. I don't want to say it's blackmail, but it kind of is giving me that vibe. They are soul tribe and family, so they were meant to come into each other's life to help each other with their own purposes, and soul survivor. I think this is more towards Chris than Mr. Beast, but it's really hard not life. I overcame my childhood mental, physical, verbal A word, and you know it's a, it's a situation where they have to accept the fact they're in the limelight and people are watching them and they have their own opinions and everyone's entitled to that. But like I said, if they're not hurting anyone, I think Mr. Beast is going to stand by Chris's side. Let's get some more energy with the Beach Time Soul Oracle. We'll jump to our third deck out of four and get some answers here. Let's shuffle these real, real quick and see what we need to go. Ooh, head and no. Okay, what is Mr. Beast's energy? Talking, interested, conversating more awaited message arrives. So interesting. What is Chris's energy? Mirror, mirroring each other, um, self-image, reflecting our wounds, introspection. I mean, definitely mirroring and trying to understand who he truly is and what he wants to grow into. The energy between them is, okay, stabbed in the back. Interesting. We're going to pull some more on that, but it's definitely feeling a heartbreak, a separation. It might have came as a shock. Maybe they had no idea. But let's go back to Mr. Beast. Yeah, empath and narcissist paradigm. Enabling boundaries. So I think there's certain boundaries that they're going to have to have with this on what they can and cannot do. Um, and let's see. I think it comes down to watching people watching from the sidelines and used to have this diehard love for Mr. Beast and now it feels like people are gaslighting him or focusing in on that energy out here. But Chris is making healthy choices. He's doing what's best for him, really being in love with himself, owning it, you know, taking care of himself and honestly being happier in the moment. But there are a lot of karmic people around him that are, you know, making him feel triggered, have resentment. He needs to release those people and have a good solid support system. Because he's moving into authentically being himself with the paradise. This is my sun card in the deck, which is all about enjoying each other, expanding your view, being open to reality and where things can go. 
And I think, you know, Chris might fall in love. He might find someone that's worthy of him for um, this situation. And maybe, you know, start talking to someone who makes them feel like they are really involved. Last but not least, he's focusing in on himself with self-indulgence. Really doing that shadow work, healing, healing that inner child and learning from the past. But he's ready to make some new memories and close that chapter of his life. The energy between them, yeah. Addiction, codependency, controlling has block restraint. Like I said, I think the content's going to have to change. The viewpoint's going to have to change if Chris stays around. But definitely there's some healing of the heart out here, which is, you know, freedom, breaking free as well for healing from heartbreak, decisions, conversations. And, you know, there's definitely time to make some new memories with the photograph. And with that, I dropped my card. Um, yeah, there's definitely keeping their heart open. I don't think there's like attraction between these two, but definitely getting together, meeting the one and ascending. I think this is a true opportunity. As you ascend, you can't take everyone with you. So if Chris chooses to go his way, a different way, enter that new phase, expand his learning and prepare for union with oneself, he is. But right now he's a little bit of a runner. He's a little flighty. He's a little emotional right now. Fear of intimacy or talking about his feelings and the phoenix rising. It was authentically made to happen. This renewal, this, you know, changing of the mind, the growth, the new phase in their lives. But let's get some answers with our angel answer oracle. Let's see, is Chris going to get fired? No, I think there's this waiting time where it's not the right time unless he leaves on his own. Um, there's going to be no need to worry here because the situation is going to improve. I feel like people are going to be more accepting, understanding within the next few weeks. I feel like this was just a bombshell. Um, I didn't get a yes or no answer. I'm just going to try to find one of those cards and pull it out here. Yeah, don't stop. So I think they're going to continue to keep filming first and foremost. Here's a blue card. No, he's not going to get fired. That's for sure. I think it's just going to be a change to content. I know I keep saying that, but it's going to be a new angle, new ideas. How does Chris feel about continuing working with Mr. B's? Yeah, remain positive and take action. I don't think this is going to slow him down. It's like shooting over a shooting star and walking the walk and talking the talk. I think he's happy with who he is and where he wants to take things. Uh, yeah, within the next few weeks, I could see him rebranding, making a new channel, talking about new things. But, you know, it's one of those things. Meditation brings answers and the mask is going to be revealed. I think there's going to be a breaking point where they either have to full send it and say, nope, this is my decision or not. How does Mr. Beast feel about Chris? He's trying to get more information. Um, he feels like now's not the right time. He doesn't want to pressure him into having this conversation. It's all about being patient and waiting. In the next few weeks, I think that they might have some communication out here um, about this. But with this, yeah, there's big happy changes between them. 555 energy. Communicating clearly. So explaining thoughts. What are you comfortable with? What should we remove? What should we not? This might be affecting the abundance, but I think Mr. Beast can bounce back real quick and hopefully be an advocate and push for, you know, the rights around here. But last but not least, what's the final outcome of this situation? Okay, it's definitely going to be up to them the way that they want to take this. But I think they are going to rebrand, take that new direction and follow what they believe is going to be best. Yeah, there's something better out there as long as they remain positive about this situation. There's going to be financial opportunities, throw bands on these hoes, rain in some money over here, and it's coming in perfect timing. So two to 14 days, I think there's this energy of don't stop. Keep walking the walk. Keep doing what you need to do. 
And, you know, trust your intuition. I think he, they have a lot of helpful people around them that are going to help build them up. But they need to gain more information here, splitting the deck. And trust in the universe. Trust that this was meant to happen, what they're supposed to focus on, and improving their own health, mental, physical, spiritual, filling up their own cup, and being authentically themselves. I think Mr. Beast is going to support him. I think he's going to get the backlash, but I think it's going to be better. Right now it might be hard because people are trying to boycott. Um, Chris might take a hiatus from some of the filming, but overall I don't think he is walking away unless he walks away himself. I don't believe Mr. Beast is firing him. Okay, besties, I love you so much. Let me know in the comments below, do you think he's getting fired or not? Make sure you like and subscribe. We're on the road to 10K, and I could not do this without you. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care of each other. Be nice to each other. And, you know, I love you all so much. Bye, besties.